As we said before, there are two types that we must know and use routinely, as they are used very frequently. These are the basic knot with the middle finger and the basic knot with the index finger, which we must know how to knot with both the right hand and the left hand. Let's now see the basic knot with the left hand. We cross the ends of the thread, leaving at the bottom the one that we will handle with the left hand. The right hand just holds the thread perpendicular to the tissue and keeps the tension, which should not be excessive. The left hand will be the one that will do all the knotting. From this position, which we will call the starting position, we take the end of the thread between the index finger and the thumb, we turn the wrist, we push the thread with the little finger, and with the middle finger, we pass the other end of the thread, and we pull it with the help of the right finger. We keep pulling with the middle finger and the thumb thus forming the knot, which we lower and tighten with the index finger so that it's completely flat on the tissue. Let's see it again. The knot must always be crossed and alternate so that they remain fixed. For this purpose, we will make the second type of knot, the basic knot with the index finger. This is the first position. We take the end of the thread between the thumb and the middle finger and we tighten with the index finger. We bring it closer to the other end of the thread. Release the index finger and take the end again with the help of the middle finger, the thumb and the index finger again, which is the one that lowers and tightens the knot. We balance the tension on the two ends at all times so that the knot is flat on the tissue. Let's see it again. And finally, we will cross and alternate again the knots successively, which will be flat and crossed. Depending on the type of tissue and sutter, we will make more or less knots.